Hello Internet and welcome to ACD Camping, the home of woodland shenanigans on a shoestring budget. I'm ACD and in this video I'd like to discuss the final entry in Dave Cantery's 10 Seas of Survival. Canvas or cloth sail needle. But before I begin, I would like to add that due to the laws of the UK governing the cutting tool, I have put that entry in the laws and unwritten rules playlist so that you'll fully understand the whys, the whats, the whos and the wheres around this controversial subject. So please pop on over there and check out that playlist. There's a bunch of info already over there and tons more to come. Right, let's get back to the topic in hand, the canvas needle. There's a bit of discussion online in various forums as to this and many other areas surrounding the 10 Cs. Some people say it should be 15 items, others a much higher figure. But as for the canvas needle, some regard it as defining the entire spares and repair kit. A needle isn't much use without thread after all. This is what we will be focusing on in this video. In the kit that I have packed in my Roycroft system, I carry zip ties. Great for if I need to make any on-site adjustments to my tarp if, say, a grommet fails, or adding a little extra support to cordage should I face inclement weather. A spare water collection and purification kit Used in emergencies if I have found myself in a situation where I've used up the main supply. There's a saying in the prepared community, two is one and one is none. In it, I have an elastic band, a couple of packs of water purification tablets, a couple of condoms, some coffee filters and a bandana. Next up we have a small fire kit, or again used in emergencies if my primary lighter has run out, I can't find your matches or use them, or I'm un unable to find my ferrocium rod. The backup plan as it were, I carry a lighter, candles and if needed I can use this bandana as tinder. Next up we have some aluminium foil, multiple use from preparing food or used to clean off kit if it gets dirty. We have the sewing kit next. This particular piece is a Poundland sewing kit. I'll bring it a bit close to the... It uh, can do to repair clothes, etc. And should not my top have, get a tear in, I can use these. Uh, these are actual uh, canvas needles. They're longer, thicker than regular needles. And I put them in this little tube because they have a habit of poking through things. Next up we have various lengths and widths of cordage. In it I have some uh, utility cord, some thick shoelace type cord, a roll of dental floss and some braided wire. There's many uses on site for this from strengthening pre-existing structures to uh, repairs. Um, there's many videos online that show you many different uses for dental floss alone. Next up we have some cargo tape. Again, just a small amount that I've wrapped around a piece of cardboard. Um, if you want to go check out the cardo tape uh, video, I go into greater detail about the many uses of this. Next up we have a small sharpening stone. As this is my bushcraft kit, I need to stay sharp. And then finally, a little tube of super glue. So many uses for this stuff from um, repairs, fire starting. It's another thing that has hundreds of uses out in the wild. 